<laughs> good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. It's really nice to see you. Good evening, teacher. Uh, I, I saw and I heard you were laughing a lot. Escuché que estaban riendo mucho. Las la risa es muy, muy buena, pero dependi <laughs> dependiendo también, ¿verdad? Porque sí. Dicen que por ahí. Se nos olvidó que... la tarea. Ah, pues no, la tarea, buena, la tarea. La risa que se diga. The homework. Por eso no estamos riendo. <laughs> homework assignment for today, for tonight. I forget, teacher. I'm sorry. You forgot. <laughs> hey, <forgot>. my goodness. <laughs> Tell me about the homework. ¿Quién hizo la tarea? Ahora voy a ser como oyente. Ok, Teacher, Aníbal. Permiso. Ok, Aníbal, I got it. Hey, who did the homework? No one did the homework. Armando. I, I have the remember. homework, but in images. <laughs> images? Yes. Ok, tell us about it, Armando. Uh, B was work being... And become, became, become, begin. Ah, uh, Armando, begin. don't read. I read. I have it. Don't imagine. read, Armando. That, that was supposed to be by heart. Ya ve, estaban hablando de mí. <laughs> no, okay, so 20 verbs, I told you, right? 20 le dije, sí. Yes. Okay, 20 verbos en, en presente, en pasado, y pasado participio. Va, vamos a ir uno por uno. Vamos a ver. Ma, María Wendy. Tell me about your 20 verbs. Uh, be, was, were, uh, been. Mm -hmm. Become, become, become. Become, became, become, all right. Uh, begin, began, begun. Mm -hmm. uh, bid, <laughs> bid, bid. <laughs> So, but that's, that's by heart, right? Todo lo está diciendo de memoria. No, estamos no. leyendo. Ah, okay, no, no, I, I want to listen to people who uh, memorize some verbs. ¿Quién memorizó verbos? Raise your hand if you memorize some verbs. Nadie. Nelson, I think. Nelson, no. La, Nelson. Blanca is learning now. Ah, Blanca is learning learning them now. Okay, don't worry, because we're going to have a lot of time to learn verbs. And actually, tonight, we're going to work with simple past tense. So, we have a lot of work to do. Okay? And hopefully, you start learning a, a little bit about simple past, not only with regular verbs, but also with irregular verbs. So this week, it's going to be very interesting because we're going to keep uh, talking about past verbs, pronunciation, past events, uh, among other things. So this week is quite important. And as always, right? So let me see. First thing I will do is to check list attendance. I have 21 people here. And that's fantastic. So we check list attendance, people. Be ready. Ready. Okay, be ready because yes. I check list attendance. So in a very quick way, and then we're gonna go over the the, the grammatical structure. We're in church of teaching tonight. Mm. All right. You say hello, you say I'm here, or oh, you say present. Hey, September the 11th, right? Ana Graciela. Hey, teacher. Excellent, Ana Graciela. Welcome. Hey, Anderson Jeremy. I'm here. Good. Armando Antonio. Hello. Here, teacher. Okay, Blanca Stephanie. Blanca Present Stephanie. Present, teacher. Good. Present, teacher. Carlos Aníbal. I'm here. Cecia Gemina. Good. Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Okay. Elmer. Present teacher. Good. Elsa Noelia. Present. 
Okay. Floricia. Hello. Yes. Hello, hello, Floricia. Ingrid. Ingrid Esmeralda. So Ingrid is not here yet. So Jaime Ivan. I am here, teacher. Good. Karina Yamilet. Present, teacher. Okay. Carla Gabriela. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Kenny. Present. All right. Maria Imelda. Present, teacher. Good. Maria Wendy. Present, teacher. Excellent. Marisol. Present, teacher. Good. Nelson Rutilio. Present, teacher. Rommel. Present, teacher. Ronald. Ronald is not here. And Wilfredo. Here, teacher. Excellent. Pretty good. So, listen. I know. I'm missing. Yeah, Wilfredo. Okay, so we check list attendance later so that we can um, check every single detail about this this session. Well, we're gonna start with the platform as always. Okay. Uh, well, I have something here that I consider it's important. I have some expressions so here. Okay, so. What do you think is that how what do you think you could complete this sentence? I not drink any soda last night. How do you think we can complete it? Do do I do not drink? drink. Now remember we are we're gonna talk about simple do past I... tense. Drink. No, but I have drink. not. I exactly. not. Okay, listen. Uh huh. I didn't. I didn't what? Drink. Drink. I didn't drink any soda last night. Now, what do you think it will? It could be this way. She get on the bus in the city. God. She, she got on the bus. Got... Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you see about the importance of learning verbs in English. Ya vieron que sí es importante aprender mucho verbo. Hey, what time he get up yesterday? Ajá. Uh -huh. got up. Yesterday. What what time? Let's look at it. What time what? He, he get up. Yesterday. Did he get up yesterday? Where do you get off the train? Where do you get off? Where do you? Uh, well, look, where did? Uh, where did? So we're going to continue later, uh, but we wake up very late. We wake up. Did? We, we did. Are. Ah, so we that's are. why. Uh, uh -huh. We walk. <laughs> we walk. We woke up. We walk. Oh, One more. Walk. One more. She made good coffee. She. Made good coffee. she? But it's a question. Right. It's a question. It's a question. Did she make good coffee? Hey, did she make good coffee? Okay, so just to introduce the topic, okay, for you to have some idea. Well, there is an objective. So, you know, this is the section number four. Hey, welcome to week number three. Bienvenidos a la semana tres. Wow, el tiempo va volando. So, tell me. En el grupo pusieron de que esta semana va a sección 4 y 5. Yeah, exactly. Four? No, uh, on, only uh, four. Only four. Okay. Okay, so I think it will be only four. And next week, you know, we're going to have a lesson five. So, look, 
the objective at the end of this class you will be learn you will be able to learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do we will see this video in a very quick way because it's about vocabulary only and then we're going to see the grammar itself here we go take notes Do you listen to to him? No, okay. listen. Okay, no, so no, teacher. I'm sorry. Hear. That's my fault. It's my fault. I will try to do it once again. So here we go. Now I think you are gonna listen to him. Here we go. To do. Let's get started by listening and. What about now? Yes. Now, yes. Now, yes right. So the top A things people hate to do. Staying in line, do laundry, try to work, etc. Right. Listen, listen and repeat. One. Some vocabulary. Stand in line. Stand in line. Repeat, Two. please. Do laundry. Do laundry. Three. Do laundry. Travel to work. Travel to work. Travel to work. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Exercise. 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 Work in the yard. Or work in the job. Work in the job. Work in the work in the yard. Clean the house. Clean the house. The house. Clean the house. Open the mail. Open the mail. Open the mail. Open the mail. I'd like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so it's important, right? So it's going to be very simple because the only thing you need to do is to... Give me one second. The only thing you need to do is to talk about about it, okay? No subject, the past tense, no. Hey, what's going on with this? Okay, now I think it's better. Okay, so I will play it once again so that you can see the info, the vocabulary Travel over here. To work. Now, so these are some activities that some people hate, though. You know the word hate, right? Algunas actividades que las personas no les gusta hacer, que odian hacer. Staying in line. Staying okay. in line. Staying in line. Staying in line. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do laundry. Travel to work. Travel to work. Travel to work. Go to meetings. <laughs> to meetings. Meeting. Exercise. 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 Work in the yard. Work in the yard. In the house. Open the mail. the mail, right? Mail. Okay, now tell me, do you like to do any of these activities? Do you love or do you hate all of them? I hate to travel to work. You hate traveling to work. Uh huh. What do you hate and what do you love to do? Um, I hate all of them. <laughs> even exercising? Even even exercising? You know it's exercising? You don't like? Yes. Sometimes. Some Sometimes. Okay, so <laughs> hey, this is some vocabulary that you need to keep in mind. Okay, because later we can use it. Later we can use it, okay? So now we're gonna go directly. Okay, so these are like the top eight things people have to do. We're gonna go to the topic itself about the, the um, topic we are in church of working tonight. And it says that by the end of this uh, session, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in 
the simple past using regular verbs and additionally to practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting. So, um, all right, so this is our topic. Simple statements with real verbs. So we're gonna see the video and later I will show what I have prepared for you. Pay attention. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. I didn't study, pay attention. Hi you Jennifer, didn't study. did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry mm. and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these. Oh no, do we have a test today? All right, guys, pay attention. Tell me where you see information in simple past tense. Díganme dónde visualizan pasado simple. Si dice, hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Did, did, you have, uh, did you have did you a have good have, weekend? I, I had a busy weekend. Do you have a good weekend? This is a question with simple past tense, right? Then, well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. I had a busy I had a busy. I had a busy. I had a busy weekend. Okay. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning. Exercise. I, I exercise. I, I exercise. Then my roommate and I cleaned and did the laundry and shopped. I cleaned the laundry. I cleaned the laundry. I cleaned the laundry and shopped. Shop. 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 And then, Shop. and Shop. then I visited Shop. my Shop. parents. Shop. Okay, so what? Do what do you do on Sunday? Did you do on Sunday? So what do you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. I study. I study. I study, I study. I study. I study for test all day. I did. Oh study. no! Uh, do we have a test I today? Did. I didn't study, I just watched Do we have television. I didn't study, I just I... watched television. Wow. Watch I watch all watch weekends. So all that means weekend. that most of the conversation was about simple past things, weekend. right? So, weekend. yeah, on the weekend. Pretty good. So you identify simple past things. Now, we're going to continue seeing the video because I consider there is something that's important over here. So, you pay. Pay attention. Television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. <clears throat> they exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercise. E X E R I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. 
Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shopped. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. Pay attention. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. <clears throat> we need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. Yes. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. On Saturday. Means in the past. All right, so did you pay attention? Hello, hello. hello. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so as you could notice, we started to talk about Simple past tense, right? Statements. 
And we have the first with regular verbs. So what are the character or what is the characteristic of regular verbs? What is the characteristic of regular verbs? The E D. Watch. Yeah. The Stay. Shop. Exercise. It the at the end, right? So but the why what oh what is the way you can create sentences in simple past tense? You have the subject, then you have the verb in the in the past form, and then you have a complement. So this is practically uh, a sentence. Subject, the verb, and a complement. Okay, simple like that, but this is about positive statements. You know, I studied, you watched, uh, she stayed, we shopped, they exercised, etc. But when you want to make it negative, so you have to use didn't. I didn't study. And look at the verb. The verb remains in the base form. I didn't study. I didn't watch. I didn't stay. I didn't shop. I didn't exercise. Etc. On Saturday, um, I mean, I, I didn't watch a movie, I didn't stay out, I didn't shop for clothes, I didn't exercise on Sunday, etc. Right. So we have some verbs which 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 have some special uh spelling. For example, watch simple past. Watched. Good. Watch. Exercise, simple past. Exercise. 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 Study. Studying. Study. 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 Stay. 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 Shop. 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 Okay, so simple like that. Let me see, I will close this part. So, well, I will try to, to explain a little about the way we form the, the regular verse. But in order to do that, I have to I have to go to the to the powerful presentation I have here. I will share it once again. And I want you to pay special attention. We we'll try to introduce the things by present or introducing some people. What is the what is our topic tonight? Simple past, people past mm -hmm. tense. All right. Now, do you know about these people? Who are they? Who's this guy? Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, okay. Who's this guy? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Who's this guy? Lionel Messi. Who's this girl? All right. All right, so you know perfectly about it, right? So I have this, and uh, it says he was the most expensive player in football. Real Madrid paid 96 million of euros to Manchester United. His contract with the Spanish team is for six years. He earns 13 million of euros every year. If another team wants him, it has to pay around 1,000 millions of euros. Wow. Who, who, who is the reading talking about? Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. Yeah. This one. Started acting when he was five. His hometown is Hammersmith, 
West London. He is an only child and his father is Irish. Daniel likes rock music and his favorite band is the Arctic Monkeys. His other hobbies include cricket and writing poetry. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Now keep it in mind. You say Harry Potter, right? What's the yeah, top scorer of the 2005 FIFA World Cup Championship? After this, he became a member of the Argentina's international team in 2008. He won his first international honor, an Olympic gold med medal with the Argentina Olympic football team. Mr. Messi, right? She was born on 9th April, Naples, 1990, and she is almost famous for playing Bella Swan in the film Twilight and New Moon. She was born and raised in Los Angeles and has one other brother, and she started acting age eight. And his year won the. So. I don't know what else. Penelope. Penelope? Dice Christmas Network. Okay. So this is lady, right? Abril Lavin, ¿quién es esa? Bella. <laughs> what, what is your name? Bella. Bella. Bella, right? Bella de Crepúsculo. Bella Crepúsculo. Yeah, that's Bella, right? Okay, so now before, uh, let me see. Yeah, we have 30 minutes more. I will try to introduce the verbs in English, okay? El tema no es, es, es muy es sencillo, pero es amplio. Okay? Quiero que tengan esa claridad. Sencillo, pero amplio. ¿Qué sucede si yo, por ejemplo, tengo verbos regulares y hay otro grupo de verbos que se llama irregulares? Si yo estoy aprendiendo inglés, debo de aprendérmelos. Debo de eh, manejarlos al 100%. ¿Ok? Talk, talk, talk. Fun, fun, fun. Arrived, arrived, arrived. Play, play, play. Walked, walked, walked. ¿Ok? So... What kind of verbs do we have here? ¿Qué tipo de verbos tenemos acá? Regulares. Son verbos regulares. ¿Cómo lo sé? Porque en el pasado terminan en... All right. So you see, simple present tense. Walk, walked. And as... Ask. Okay. Ask. Now, I, want, I will teach you something that's important. Uh, oh, well, I, I will assign a homework for you to study related to the pronunciation of verbs. Teacher, but, uh, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta de pronunciar al final esa terminación, ED? Excellent question. Excelente pregunta. Justo iba para ahí, para ese punto ahorita. But if you listen, talk, talk, found, arrived, played, walked, asked. ¿Cuántas pronunciaciones escuchar? Actually, we have three pronunciations. La E de tiene una pronunciación. Ok, algunas veces suena como D, otras veces como T, otras como I. Pero les dejo la primera tarea, porque esto lo, lo debemos de abordar esta semana. ¿Cómo saber qué, right. qué pronunciación debo utilizar si todos terminan en ED y son regulares? En realidad deberían de ser tres, tres, tres formas de pronunciar, pero se los dejo de tarea porque todavía no vamos a, no vamos a esa parte, ¿ok? Pero sí me gustaría que lo, que lo estudiaran. Now, let's, let's continue. We will continue. There are also irregular verbs. Cuando hablamos de pasado, 
eh, tenemos también verbos irregulares. Look. It ate. It ate. Three drank. Swim, swam. Run, ran. See, so. Meet and met. Okay? Meet and met. So we have like two, four, six verbs. And these are irregular. You need to be aware that these are irregular verbs. ¿Por qué les vamos a llamar irregulares? Porque miren, no terminan en ED. No terminan en ED. ¿Ve? El pasado es... Hay que memorizárselo. ¿Ok? So, it... Termine fast. Porque no tienen una, una determinación específica. Exactly. Eh, los regulares siguen un patrón. Ok. Todos terminan en ED, pero los irregulares, eso sí no se sabe, por lo menos aquí, it, miren cómo cambia de it a pasado, eight. The drink, drunk, swim, swap, run, ran. Sí, so, meet, met. Cambian su condición original. Ya, yeah. so, estos no siguen, no siguen un patrón así como los regulares. ¿Ok? Esa es la diferencia. Y estos hay que memorizarse. Los regulares también, pero tenemos la, 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 tenemos la facilidad de que todos los verbos regulares terminan en ed, en su forma pasada. Ok, now let's see, because we have more. So, spelling rules in the past, in simple past tense. Si ustedes se fijan, acá está la pronunciación. Walk. 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 Excelente. Walk. Veo que algunos ya han investigado acerca de esto. Walk. Walk. Talk. Walk. Walk. Talk. 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 Answer. 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 Answered. Right? Eh, answer. It's over here. Answer. Answer. Okay. Dance. 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 Okay. Like. 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 Arrive. 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 Okay. So Arrive. in this case, for example, uh, if you, if the verb ends in e, the only thing you need to do is to add that d over here. This is all you have to do. Si termina en E, en pasado, solo se le agrega la, la D. Like, miren, termina en, en, vo, en vocal y la pronunciación sigue siendo como T. Light. Arrive, arrived. Uh, we have the, the, both of them, right? So, we're almost getting into the exercises, people. Ahorita estamos nada más viendo la, cómo, cómo se ha estructurado. Double, consonant, plus, eh, minus, ed. For example, prefer, ¿cómo lo pasan yeah. a, a pasado? R, ed, plus, It's R, over here, right? Preferred. Stop. 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 Okay, stop, stop. Yeah. Stop. Tell me. I have a question. Oh. Tell me, a, tell me the question. Uh -huh. En este caso de not call, no le cambiaría caller. En call. Uh -huh. Where is call to here? Por ejemplo, cuando es I didn't. Ah, okay. So when you have Negative statements. But, miren, esa es otra, otra buena, buena pregunta. Si dice, I danced. I danced. Ok, yo ya sé que eso es pasado. Pero para hacerlo de forma negativa, yo, yo bailé. Pero quiero decir, yo no bailé. I. I did. I didn't. I didn't dance. Ya. ¿De qué se dan cuenta acá? Uno termina en pasado 
y el otro cambia el verbo en su forma base, miren, porque aquí está el pasado. All right. No sé si, si pude contestar la pregunta. Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So, vowel plus Y and ED say played, enjoyed, stayed. Si se fijan, pronunciación distinta. Stayed, played, preferred. Pero cuando llegamos aquí, liked, like that. What? What? Talked. Answered. Answered. So, the, there are certain rules. Hay, hay algunas reglas para, para aprendérselas. Por eso los estoy, les estoy pidiendo que investiguen. Oops. So, we have uh, negative forms. I told you about, about uh, I didn't walk. He didn't swim. You didn't sleep. I didn't walk, he didn't swim, etc. Right? So, and, and we have also questions such as did you study? Did she walk? Did they dance? Etc. Etc. Any question? No questions? No question. Okay, so I think it's all right. I have well, no, I have this exercise. Can you, can you see people? What is the verb? Start, starting, starts. This is in present. Tell me, please. Start in present and in past. ¿Cuál es la forma de, de, de base para hablar de presente en la, en la uno? Hello, do you see the info? ¿Pueden, pueden visualizar la información? El verbo en su condición original. Ajá, es es present, right? Forma presente. Present. Sí. I... I work. I work on the weekend. Give me a second. Si pueden visualizar lo que estoy compartiendo. No, creo que eso es el No, problema. no está compartiendo nada. Ok. Así. Yes. Ok, thank you, Wilfredo. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Ok, so, now yes, right? So I have I present. Start, 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 he But this is it's just his present, right? He he start. Start. He start. Start. He starts. Simple uh, past. He started. He started. She starts. Starts. She start or she starts. She started. Pretty good. Start. We're almost done with it. It starts. Start. It starts. Pass. Start. Start. It started. We start. Start. We start. Start. We start. We started. Right. You. You start. You put pass. You start. You start. The last one. They start. They start. We're gonna check. Wow. So we committed some mistakes over here. I don't know. This is a, this is a problem, right? Start still. 
Uh, but that was yeah, my fault. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're gonna check it. Ninety-eight percent. So we still have a problem here. No, right? I think we did it. I think we did it. Okay. So I have something else here. Uh, well, over here, you're going to tell me about pronunciation. Help. 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 Vai, como pronuncian este? Help. 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 So, what is about the way it is pronounced? No se le va a olvidar que lo que va a sonar o lo que va a cambiar va a ser la ed. So, ¿Cómo va a sonar en este caso? Como T. Look at the second one. Termina en wash. 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 Right, 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 enjoy it, study, enjoy it, study, 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 cry, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, so different ways to pronounce the verbs, the regular verbs. Uh, three forms, right? So, wow, we have been working a lot tonight. But before leaving, I mean, we are still missing like 12 minutes. It would be really nice if, well, if you start working with the verbs. But ahora que ya saben cómo formar verbos regulares, Váyanse ahorita a la, a la web y búsquenme eh, 15 verbos regulares en su pronunciación correcta. ¿Ok? Investíguenme 15 verbos ahorita mientras yo paso lista por aquí. Ok, 15 verbs. 15 verbs. Hello, hello. 15 verbos regulares en? Eh, en pasado. Ok. Ok. So, Ana Graciela is over there. Present teacher. Ok. Anderson. I'm here. Sir. Armando. Present teacher. Blanca. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Present teacher. Cecia Gemina. Diana Patricia. Ok, Diana Patricia. Aquí, teacher. Elmer. Present teacher. Elsa Noelia. Present. Floricia. Ok, Ingrid Esmeralda. Present teacher. Ok, good. That's better, right? Jaime Iván. Here, teacher. Good. Karina. Present teacher. Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. María Imelda. Present teacher. María Wendy. Present teacher. Marisol de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Rommel. 
Ronald, Wilfredo. As you know, what people, batimos record. Wow, lo felicito. No hay ningún ausente esta noche. Fantastic. ¿Saben que con, hubo un grupo eh, que, con el cual nos propusimos obtener el 100% de, las, de la asistencia? Y gracias a Dios lo logramos. O sea, si, si unos grupos pueden, pues tratemos nosotros en, en la medida de lo posible no faltar a clase, ¿ok? Eso es eso súper es genial. Now, did you investigate the verbs? Yes, teacher. Ah, tell me about the verbs that you got. Tell me about the verbs you got. Yeah. Want, wanted. What? Wanted. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Like, like. Like, like. G. Uh huh. Wanted. Born. Wanted. Born. Uh, okay. Only regular. Born. 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 Right? Visit. Visit. Vis visited. Visited. Rented. 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 Good. Some people are looking in the web. Rent. All rented. right. All right. All right. Accepted. All right. Accepted. Accept. Accepted. Good. Repeat. Repeat. Repeated. Repeated. Excellent. Create. Created. Create. Created. Paint. Painted. Paint. Paint. Open. Opened. Open. 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 Very good. Excellent. Close, so I think the, the majority of you have done it. Enjoy. 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 The debate. Died. 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 So. Listen to me, Chau, please. Chau. Para el día de mañana, eh, nos van a contar una historia eh, de algo, algo que les sucedió a ustedes, que puede ser la semana pasada, el año pasado, o de, hace 10 años, algo que ustedes nunca van a olvidar. ¿Ok? Algo que nunca se les va a olvidar. En inglés. Okay. Of course, en inglés. ¿Ok? Ok. Solo para ir este, como calentando motores respecto a lo que es pasado sin. Hay, mucho, hay mucha tela que cortar acá, hay mucho trabajo, pero eh, poco a poco, jo, eh, jóvenes, poco a poco se va logrando como um, el aprendizaje significativo, ¿verdad? Por lo menos yo los veo que están bien atentos, eh, han investigado con anticipación, la pronunciación, porque al inicio yo lo que hice fue como, bueno, voy a probar que, que tanto saben ellos de pasado simple. Y resulta que algunos pues estaban creando las oraciones que, que yo presenté. Entonces, quiere decir que están este, tomando ventaja del tiempo. Um, ¿Tienen tarea? En realidad tienen dos tareas. ¿Quién me dice cuál es la primera? La pronunciación. Claro, the verb. Started the twenty verbs. Bueno, esa era tarea, esa era tarea para este día. El que no la cumplió, pues allí tienen tres entonces. Serían las las veinte verbos, ok. Este lo otro es estudiar. De la de la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado y la otra es la historia que nunca, nunca, nunca se le va a olvidar en su vida ¿Okay? puede ser algo chistoso como ustedes prefieran ok alright so you, you have to investigate about it now something that we're gonna take advantage of is now it's about five minutes that we're still missing Well, um, sure. hello, hello. How many lines maximum? It's, it's up to you. Depende de ustedes. Okay. Okay, so, miren, esto sí, sí me, me, me llama mucho la atención de dejarlo más que claro. Si ustedes se fijan acá, los verbos todos están en pasado. Oraciones positivas. Okay. 
Todos están en pasado. ¿Qué sucede cuando, cuando entramos a la negación? Se usa bueno, el diren. Aquí nos aclara que es diren. Es la forma... Es la forma de contractar de did not. Ok. Eh, we have example. Didn't watch. Didn't stay. Didn't shop. Didn't exercise, etc. Right? So that's negative statements. Pero si ustedes se dan cuenta cuando usan didn't, que el verbo ya pierde su naturaleza en pasado, digamos. Lo que hace la oración en pasado es el didn't. Yo ya sé allí que esa oración está en pasado. Ahora, si acá en el spelling, fue donde nos encontramos con las diferentes pronunciaciones. Exercised, studied, watched, stayed, shopped, shopped. Ok, shopped. So, eso es algo que sí quería aclararles. Y en in the platform, en la plataforma, tenemos este, este ejercicio. The knowledge check. Okay, so we're not going to develop it because of the time, but tomorrow we're going to do it. Okay, any questions, people? Any questions about, about tonight's class? Have a question, teacher. Tell me that question. Ask the question, Nelson. Eh, sé que el did siempre va a ir acompañado de la negación. ¿En qué momento utilizamos el did sin la negación? Ah, ok. Good question. No solo en la negación va a ocupar did, sino que también en pregunta. So, si yo le pregunto, ah. ¿qué es lo que hiciste ayer? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? ¿Fuiste al cine? Did you go to the cinema? Did you go to the cinema? Did. O sea, lo vamos a ocupar en preguntas y lo vamos a ocupar en oraciones negativas. En negación, negación. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. No more questions? No more doubts? Ok, so we have the, the activities for tomorrow, ok? Quedamos con esas actividades para el día de mañana. ¿Les parece? Ok. Yeah, ok. Ah, okay. okay. Ah, miren, les voy a pedir un favor. Que cuando eh, empecemos a revisar tarea, que automáticamente la persona que yo esté solicitando uh, participación, que automáticamente reaccione, ¿ok? Que este, para sacarle ventaja al tiempo, tenemos que eh, estar preparados con tareas. ¿Ok? So let's see tomorrow. Good night, people. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night everybody. Good night, tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Start this small. Hagan las tareas para mañana. Yes. Okay. I make tomorrow. De memoria no leí. ¿Qué dijo el dicho que teníamos que hacer? Una historia de lo que le haya pasado la semana pasada. Sleep all day. Inolvidable. Una historia inolvidable. Es la semana pasada, dice Anil. Yo tengo mucha historia. Que sea algo que sea... Ah, pues pásenos una para hacerlas todas. Es cada quien no pasa la copia. No, ¿por qué no va a decir una historia cada uno? Pues, mm. eh, pero que le hecho todo, su pero historia que blanquita. Ahí vamos a saber por qué ríe tanto. No, no la quita la de relajo. La no, de yo no. Se me hace no. que es la fiestera del grupo. Diana. No se vale contar lo que, que pasó en la novela. Hay que hacer una historia imaginaria. No, yo no. Eh, hey, compañero, nos han dado minutos extra. Ah, sí. No, nos faltan dos minutos. Ah, nos faltan. Sí. Ya no hablemos y no lo van a cortar.
<ríe> Mientras más hablamos, más luego nos cortan. no, Ajá. así si quieren hablar, hagan su propio miri. <ríe> Está bien, está bien. Ah, sí.